seriously, okay? I'm, I'm, I don't know anything about art, I'm an idiot. No, you're probably right. I don't think anyone in here is gonna buy this for a thousand dollars. I feel like I should buy it now. You do? Yeah. Will you? I, it would make up for hurting my feelings. She's Not There is about Rob and Anna, who are a couple who meet and fall in love. And then Rob starts to realize that there might be something wrong in the relationship. And what is wrong is that uh, a monster comes out of Anna's walls and attacks her and tries to kill her. A lot of people who have depression isolate themselves, often in their apartment. And I sometimes feel like it's just something that comes out of nowhere and just tackles me and won't let go. So I started to think about it as like an actual monster that is always living with you. So I thought about what that would look like um, and how it would play throughout a, a like a rom-com um, if there was a, that added element, the third party um, in the room. Hi, I'm Ana Mari Mesa and I'm playing Ana in She's Not There. It has been, it has taken a toll on my energy because it's not only emotionally demanding but it's also very physically demanding. Um, since she is physically fighting her depression. Well, we're actually having somebody play the monster so that um, she feels like she's physically threatened all the time. We wanted to have the audience see the monster, but Rob not be able to see the monster. So you will see the form on stage. Uh, doing the research for this play has, has been tough. It was tough when I was writing it. Um, I'd probably call myself a method writer. <laughs> During the rehearsal process, I know that I've had really horrific nightmares. I don't know if that's because of the play or because of the 24-hour news cycle and the fact that I watch a lot of Dateline and Ted Bundy documentaries, so I don't know if I can blame it on the play, but it could be a combination. Not that you are worth it for the painting, because it is. And it, it, no, it really is. If someone not liking my paintings upset me, I would be sad all the time.